What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the L&J Shave Cake. We're back at it again. This is Shoei J coming at you. You guys know what it is. It's time for another shave. Got a lot of nice things to talk to you guys about, and maybe maybe not so nice things. <laughs> but I'll tell you guys all about it right now. We're gonna get into it. You guys know already, Paraso Blue. Let's slap it on. Now, like I was telling you guys, Lucy had emergency surgery a little under a week ago. Uh, apparently they found uh, cysts, two to be exact, uh, in the lower abdomen, which is where the ovaries are located. And uh, well, they went and did x-rays, MRIs, ultrasounds. They did the whole deal, the whole nine yards with her at the Arrowhead Medical Center, okay? And uh, so it turns out after they got the results for the MRI, um, they found, they saw a two and a half inch size cyst on the uh, left ovary, I believe. So right then and there, after I dropped her off early in the morning at 3.30 after she was complaining about some serious pain, I found out around maybe 10 a.m. after them having her there by herself because of COVID and whatnot, you guys know what I'm saying? Um, well, they admitted her right in and said that uh, we're going to get you a room and get you set up. You're going to be in for, emer for emergency surgery. And they didn't tell us when it was going to happen, but it happened a lot sooner than later. So I get a call around lunchtime, okay? And uh, that's her in the background. Um, and the doctor says... We're gonna be doing emergency surgery as of tomorrow morning around seven at the earliest or a little bit after. So sure, sure enough, they uh, admitted her right into surgery at 10 o'clock. And me, because I have to work, just cause I have to work, you guys know? Just so you guys know, we're using the Infinity Brush. Let me see if I can get, there we go, Infinity Brush by West Coast Shaving. Okay. My son recommended I use this one for this particular shave and I haven't showed you guys. There's the shave mug sick ass and uh, I haven't showed you guys the uh, razor yet so it's in let's pull it up a little let it soak boom um, and uh, like I said I was still at work when they told me and they let me know and uh, I went at when I got out of work it was about 9 30 when I clocked out that day it was kind of crazy and um, well before I continue there it is frigid by Shave It Shave Co. Yes, that's the Mule R41 head, as always. But we're gonna be using a Lord Platinum Blade. He sent these with the razor. We're gonna be using that together. R41 and the Lord. Okay, now, uh, as I was saying, I hauled ass to get to her as quick as I could. I think it's nice. It's got some clear to it. <sighs> those, those blues are insane. Look at this, guys. <laughs> nice. Now, I was hauling ass to get to her and I made it. And I stayed with her through the night. I didn't stay overnight, unfortunately, because there was no way for me to stay there because there wasn't an extra bed. But um, I left when I got her relaxed and ready for bed, you know? And uh, then I set her up. I made her real comfortable. And then I told her I'd be right back tomorrow. And sure enough, you know, I told her, you know, I got to go to work, unfortunately. And whatever. I get to work. We're ready to go and uh, get my day done, come back, and she's already out of surgery because she had texted me early in the morning at 10 letting me know she's going in. So by the time I got to her, she was already out of surgery. My mom was there, you know, because somebody had to be there. Getting it out. Let's go. And, uh, well, we're going to be using this key lime. Quickly, the ingredients are kale and clay, organic oatmeal, vitamin E, aqua, coconut oil, olive oil, jo jojoba oil, <laughs> glycerin, glycerin, sodium, coil, I can't pronounce that word, and we'll just say it's got essential oils. It's delicious. And the smell is amazing. Thank you, Ben. He sent the sample. Key line. So I get there. It's right here in the Captain's Choice Shade Bowl. We're going to be doing it by the emblem. Let's go for it. And, uh... 
She was pretty groggy at first. They had to wake her up after recovery. I mean, ugh. at recovery, they were waking her up because they had to pull the tube out of her throat because it was that serious. And I come to learn that on the, ooh, damn. Damn, Ben, that's good. Shit. Um, that uh, they found a second cyst on the other ovary that was about, geez, talk about the wag, dude, whoa. Um, and they got that out safely as well but they weren't able to save the left so they took the fallopian tube and one of the ovaries but they saved the other side so she's still reproductively capable of making children i should say creating children <laughs> but we have one and then we're pretty happy with with our weasel so that was quick look at that 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 damn it ben that's fantastic let's apply it um so I ended up call or letting work know while I, while I was at work that I wasn't gonna come in the following day because I wanted to be with Lucy at the hospital, you know. And uh, glad I did because she needed me and I needed to drive her home. And I brought her home in the race car. <laughs> Cause the other one is loaded right now. It's got some furniture in it. Damn, damn, Ben. Lather, it's just, it's, it's perfect. Uh, I think I'm definitely gonna be buying, buying the actual soap because he sent a sample in this. And uh, let's go with it. So sure enough. Okay, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So they released her the following day after surgery. Almost immediately. She was only in the hospital for 48 hours total after checking her in, getting her surgery and everything. The first night was pretty tough for her because she could only sleep on one side. But after that, she started recovering pretty fast. And yeah, I, I, I babied the hell out of her because I had to. You know, it's my job. But she's good now. Uh, the doctors will be letting us know on Tuesday of this coming week if she needs to go back in. For a second surgery. In case the other six centimeter cyst that they found is actually cancerous. So. We're, we're hoping for the best. I mean, the other two and a half inch size cyst was not cancerous, it was benign. So, we're expecting them the same. But because of its, its size, they weren't able to determine that right away. So they're gonna let us know on Tuesday. So all in all, that's the bad and the good news on that subject. She's doing well. I have her totally tucked in and chilling over there. Yeah, she's staring at me because she knows I'm looking at her. She has her Apple AirPod thing that's in her ears and her tablet and her giant jug of water because she needs that. And she's on medication right now. I show you guys Lucy, but uh, uh, she doesn't feel camera ready right now. Uh, honey, honey, can you can you tell them hi? That you're doing okay? Hi everyone, I'm recovering great. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> She's doing good. She's happy. She's happy to be home, actually. So. Lancaster Razor Works sheep towel in blood red. And that's the thing. And in this shave, I didn't draw any blood. And I did that with the Mule R41 head, but for the very first time, since I've tried the R41s, um, 
I put a Lord blade into it. Normally I usually use a, uh, what do you call it, a feather. But look at that. Oh, oh yeah. BBS, Lucy's gonna love this. Can't wait to show her. Let me just finish up here and then I'll get back to her because she's my charge right now because she can't really take care of herself at 110, okay? But she's recovering amazingly and uh, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. And here it is, ladies and gents. Shaved Shave Co's Monster Frigid. Look at those colors, man. Ben, Ben's like an amazing artisan. That man knows how to handle it, man. And I'll tell you guys something else. The head right here, there's very, very minimal overhang. So if you guys are looking for something gnarly, please go check out Ben's store at Shave It Shave Co. And he's in Canada. So this is a Canada-made product. Not Chinese. Straight up Canadian. It's amazing. It's awesome. It's delicious. It's like you want to bite into it because it looks so damn good. Not to mention, the key lime soap, which is, I, I'd call it key lime damn pie because it's that damn good. There it is. He sent me a sample, and because of that, I will be buying a full puck of this stuff, unless it's a, a, in a tub or something. I'm not sure, but I'll find out. And then he sends you a thank you card, and the legitness, which I'll show you next. There it is. <laughs> right there. Sends you a picture and a certificate of authenticity to let you know what number it is, issue, and the name of the razor. Okay, so there it is. Key lime for the soap, monster frigid for the razor, and pre shave was Parasso Blue. And we used the AW Shave Mug, Shave Brush Mug, and the Infinity Shave Brush by West Coast Shaving. Okay, bam. And before I forget, I'll show you guys that packaging on the Lord Blade. Apparently, it's the Lord Platinum. There it is. Hope you guys can see that. Yep. And uh, we did use the Captain's Choice Shave Bowl. Never fails. And that scent, I'm going to tell you guys it's a five star. Five out of five, ten out of ten. Ain't no question about that. And the slickness is insane. Man, Ben hit it out of the ballpark on this one. I should have tried these soaps a long time ago, but I didn't. But I'm glad he sent me a sample for me to check out. So, uh, we'll be buying those. I'm probably, I'll buy it. Like all, I think it's three, three, three different scents. I'm gonna pro probably buy all three of them and check them out. The one thing he hasn't done yet, Ben, if you guys, if you're out there watching this video, make an aftershave, bro. Either a balm or a splash, but yeah, make an aftershave, something that smells just like them soaps because I'd wear the hell out of it. So there it is, ladies and gents. Lastly, before I leave, um, Lucy's getting better. She should be out of bed in the next couple of weeks and hopefully she is and maybe she won't have to go into the hospital again for a second surgery to remove the other half of the reproductive system. So we're all praying and uh, I really appreciate you guys, appreciate all y'all watching. Ladies and gents, everybody out there, thank you guys. This is a, a hobby, a very addicting hobby <laughs> that I do and uh, being on film is just something I, ca I came out of my comfort zone to do. I didn't forget. We're going to be doing this combination right here for the aftershave splash. I'm going to call them splashes because together these two are amazing. So Droid Black, here we go. Got it up in there. Oh, Ooh -hoo -hoo, yeah, babe, the burn's good. Oh. Okay. Crack open Fahrenheit by Dior. Apparently these uh, aftershave bottles are about 50 bucks. So they're, they're not cheap, but they're definitely the, the, they're definitely the shit. So. Let me see before I forget. Next shave is gonna consist of some more new products, which I can't tell you right now, but you guys are gonna love it. And um, if you guys haven't watched the latest Smiles for Miles uh, show. Check it out. Matt was on with Smiles for Miles, and it was a pretty awesome show. It was kind of long, but it was pretty awesome, and it was definitely worth the watch. So you guys check that out too. And uh, let's see here. I got work tomorrow. It's Monday, but I'll be back early for another shave because we're gonna try to do shave every day. Maybe not a video every day, but we're gonna try to shave every day. And I believe the next shave, this is coming off. I'm not sure yet, but. 
Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, your comments. You guys know what it is. And um, this has been Shway J, the LNJ Shave Crave. So hit me up on the comment section if you guys have any questions, all right? So take it easy. Peace out.